Now you're probably all familiar on how to add people to an email. So kind of simplistic, you start typing someone's name, adds that. You start typing someone or a group name and it populates that list for you to select from there. But two things. One, did you know that if you need to pick from a directory or a list of, you can do that by clicking on the word to. And when you click on that, it's going to pop up a contact box. And then you can really pick whatever you want, people-wise, directory-wise, and whatnot. Now, in the upper right corner, you're going to see a pull-down. It says My Contacts, because that's what it's going to default to, your personal contacts. But if you click on the little arrow to the right, you'll see it's going to give you the option to pick all contacts. That would include your personal and your directory. Or you can select directory, and it will pull up your organization. But then if you look around this, you'll notice that I've got some different things, like my Triple G group, my Gary the Google Guy cronies. Well, I can create my own groups here, and this can be a great time saver. So if there is a project team, a department, or just a certain group of people that you email often, what you can do is select the people in your list, go to the top middle where it says Manage Labels, Go to the bottom of that area where it says create label and you can create your new group from here and then when you want to use them you'll see them in the list where you could pick and see who's a part of that deselect those people that you'd rather not have or whatever it may be or if you know that you just want to email all those people in your to field start typing the name of that group there's my triple g group click and with one click, it adds all of my users that I created as that group. And then it also gives you a little bit more control. You know what? I already talked to these couple of people, so I don't need to send them that email. And you can eliminate. But then you can also add additional people to this email if you would like to as well. But it won't automatically add them to the group, which is kind of nice. So that is the contact group piece that you can do on a personal basis. You can also create those from your contacts. So if you go into contacts, you'll see to the left, there is the labels area. If you would like to create a new group, you can go to the create label in the bottom left corner of my screen, type in the name. You can also select people first. Then up at the top, you'll see the label option to create a new one or to add them to a group. And when you want to take people out of a group, hover over their name, click the three dots, You'll see the group name that they are a part of. One click will take the check mark off and take them out of the group or go to someone that isn't a part of this group. Click on that same check mark and you will then add them to that group as well. So a number of different ways of creating those contact groups and managing them from there. But those are for you and only you, not the domain. Nobody else sees them. So it's kind of nice in that regard.